Now we did all that work in the previous video to kind of get an idea of what vector dot products do. We'll have to do several videos and several examples to kind of get a feel for why these dot products are. But let, let's just get going with this one. We've got the tools to create a vector that is perpendicular to this wall. And it doesn't matter which wall we're working with. I'm just focusing on this one because it's, it's the first one and it's a good example. Anyway, we have this perpendicular vector of... Actually, its length is that long, but I really don't care about the length. I only care about the the angles. And if you remember, we, we created this vector by subtracting this point, or we subtracted this point from this point. So we originally had this vector, and then we said perp CW, which gives us this vector, but I'm just drawing it a little bit shorter. I'll put it back right here. I'm drawing it a little bit shorter because I'm tired of drawing long vectors. I don't care about the length. In, in trying to find out what I'm trying to find out, which is, has the ship here crossed this line? All right, well, we have this vector, and then all I need now is a vector from here to the ship. Okay, and then, hey, look at that. Both of these vectors share a common origin. You see that? Their, their tails are touching. All right, and... and, and and since their tails are touching, if I do a dot product, I'm going to get some information about the angle between the two vectors. All right, now if I move my ship over to here, say my ship was, it could be anywhere in here. Let's, let's put, the, say the ship was right here. If I subtracted this location from this location, that would give me this vector. And so my angle would increase, but it wouldn't quite be 90 degrees quite yet. All right, and then let's oh, let's go just a little bit closer. Let's say the ship was right there instead. All right, well, again, I could subtract, do a dot product, and and my angle would still be positive. Okay, but then let's say the ship the ship just crossed. Okay, the ship is right here instead. Okay, let's go right there. Well, now my angle has gone greater than 90 degrees, or greater than pi over 2 radians. And I know that my ship, is in a bad spot. This is an illegal position for my ship to be. We need to bring the ship back in and resolve that problem. But for now, I'm just trying to detect has the ship crossed the boundary or not. And it's real simple. Let me let me draw that formula up again. All right, a all right, dot b the inner product of a and b, and we'll work out shortly what this means is the magnitude of a. Well, I really don't care about how long the vectors are. In other cases we will, but in this case I don't. I don't. I don't care how long they are. Only thing I care about is the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. And I don't even care what this value is. The only thing I'm interested in is: is it positive or is it negative? All right. So all I have to do is take the two vectors. I have the perpendicular one. Then I need to create another one by subtracting this original. Uh, vertex position from the ship position to get the ship's vector in re with respect to our perpendicular vector so that they share this common origin. I just have to get that vector, dot them, run this dot product, and that's going to give me a value that I really don't care about most of this. I just care about, hey, is it positive or negative? If it's negative, I know I've collided and I need to do something about it. All right, so, so all we have to do now is, is write out the vector dot product and, uh, and, and let's do it.